uh, Glenn, uh, you grew up in basketball-oriented family, yeah? Yeah. What's it like to be sports family, if you can say so? Um, it's competitive, you know. Um, obviously, just growing up with uh, my, both of my brothers, you know, that play basketball. Um, that's how I learned how to play. It's just a competitive family, you know. You argue about everything with basketball, you know. You know, they teaching me different things, but as me being younger, I'm trying to beat them and obviously they beating up on me and things like that. But they're also just watching um, NBA games and college games, you know, arguing who gonna win and things like that. But it's all out of love and just the competitive heart of all of us. So till this day, we still talk about basketball and have discussions and things like that um, on the phone or, you know, in person. So um, it's fun, you know, it's fun because um, just how that, you know, that interaction and that type of, you know, energy around your house and I'm pretty sure my mom, and you no, know, I think she loves it. You know, she don't say nothing too much, but I feel like she just love that interaction with us and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, you also grew in the state of Illinois, uh, which is home of the Chicago Bulls. Yes. Right? Uh, are you a fan of a uh, team and what's, uh, what's it like to grow up in a city which is such a historical uh, franchise? Um, honestly, I like the Bulls, but I wasn't the, I want, I wasn't the biggest fan, you know? Um, I'm more of a LeBron James fan, so any team he on, I like to support that. But also, Darren Williams was my favorite um, point guard. Um, he went to Illinois, he played in Illinois College, and then, you know, obviously he went to the NBA and played, so that was my favorite point guard. And that's the reason why I wear a hairband now, um, because, of, because of Darren Williams. Um, but um, I was never like a super Chicago fan. Obviously, I know Michael Jordan played there, and then Derrick Rose was the next, you know, superstar that was there that was, had the city, you know, really going crazy. Um, so it was fun to, you know, be around at, the, at that time. And I went to a few games, but not a lot of games. Um, and I just, you know, watched them on TV, um, not too much. Okay, uh, what about Derrick Rose? Um, I mean, I just watched, I watched Derrick Rose in high school um, because he played against my brother. He went to Simeon High School and my brother went to St. Joseph High School. And that's the high school um, me and my brothers went to. Um, so. It was like, it was a big game. It was um, a lot of people there, you know, thousands and thousands of people there. And um, cause they was both like, they had Evan Turner. He was like, you know, topped in the, in the state. And my brother was top in the state and then Derrick Rose. And then obviously them guys was projected to go to the NBA also. So, um, and then just two historical schools, you know, Simeon have a lot of guys from made it to the NBA. Then we have Isaiah Thomas um, that went to um, St. Joseph. So. It's just two or two historic schools that you know was playing each other, so it was it was fun, and I was young also, so it was just fun to go and watch. Uh, you become became a sociology major, University of Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. Uh, usually, the city and part is not as important as basketball part for athletes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what uh, What about you? Did you like this subject, and is it was useful? Um. Yes. I mean. I wouldn't say I was just, you know, big on sociology or, you know, my major, but, um, you know, my mom always get on me about, you know, school and things like that, take it serious. Um, and I didn't know when I first went to college, I didn't know what I want to, you know, major in, but, you know, I you know took some time and talked to my academic advisor and she helped me out a lot. And uh, we got to that. And uh, honestly, I don't know how I made it through because it's a lot of reading and a lot of papers and I, you know, I don't like to do reading or <laughs> writing papers so but it was you know it was a great challenge you know so it was a great challenge you know had to study and things like that um and you kind of just you know it's about to teach you discipline and time management you know it teach you them things obviously you learn them things as you go to college and play basketball but also when you got basketball in school you have to your time management have to be right so it taught me a lot of things um i'm glad i'm done and graduated but um you know, sociology was, you know, something that I like to say. I would say, like, it's good to learn because it's like how do people think and why they do they why do they do things, you know, and it's um, it's connected with psychology. So you learn a lot, you know, in that in that um, field. You spent two years, uh, pro career years in Greece, a country that uh, has an enjoyable weather and also competitive basketball league. Uh, what memories do you have from that time? Um, really, honestly, just, you know, obviously 
great weather, like you said, and um, just a nice country or things like that. Um, and then obviously it's a great level. Um, obviously, you know, the teams that's in there um, have two Euro League teams, you know, a couple Champions League, Euro Cup, things like that. So, you know, you're playing a good, good competition. Um, and, you know, that was my first, you know, kind of two years there. I mean, my first two years out of college, you know, it was a great experience, but also a learning experience. Um, you kind of got the political part of it. You kind of got the, you know, you're thinking about so much, you know, you have to kind of get used to like being on your own, the mental part of it, you know, as you so far away from your family, you know, I, I went to college in Nebraska, but when it's a whole time difference, eight hours or seven hours ahead, you know, it's kind of get a little different, you know, because you gotta talk to, you gotta stay up to talk to your family and things like that. So I think it was just more mental, you know, it was more mental, but it was actually, you know, fun. I got close with a lot of my teammates. Um, one of my teammates, you know, Couple of my teammates I still talk to today, just like you know, Cal Allman. Um, he's in he at, he in Paris playing right now, um, and you know, that was probably my closest pr um, friend in my first year in Greece. You know, and me and him, you know, both first years, and we got real close. You know, and talk, kind of kept each other company to help each other out. You know, in them times, but um, it was a great experience. You know, I think. Traveling the world is a great experience, you know, that a lot of people don't get to do, um, especially from America, um, to see Europe and things like that. Then obviously for this to be my job. So, you know, I think that's just, it's a nice, you know, nice place to visit in general, you know, Greece. You know, a lot of people want to just visit Greece. So I think I got a chance to do it firsthand and live there for, you know, I don't know, eight, eight months, I think, because uh, COVID had happened, but, um, I think this was a great opportunity and a great experience. Labas, ne pikat su trukdžiau, bet ne pamiršk paspausti subscribe ir like mygtuku. Uh, Iceland is quite an exotic destination in basketball terms. Yeah. Uh, how would you rate the, the whole experience? It's such a unique uh, place. Um, basketball wise, like you said, it was you know it was a level down. Um, you know, it wasn't that good, but honestly, that's I would say that's when I found like. That's when I started back having fun, you know, with uh, basketball, you know, kind of when I was in Greece, you know, I had my ups and downs and things like that. Um, but when I went to Iceland, I just kind of locked in on basketball. It wasn't what the city I was in. It wasn't nothing to do. It was a little town. I think it was maybe 5,000 people. So it was nothing to do, barely anything to eat there. Um, so it was like you kind of just focus in on, you know, basketball and, um, you know, you get close with your teammates and then all them guys and my coaching staff was, you know, good people. They, they made it feel like home, you know, and the, um, the owner and things like that. So it was, it was, it was actually, you know, a good, better experience than I thought it would be, you know, just by me being there. But obviously, you know, it's cold and icy and things like that. And it, sometimes the sun doesn't come up for a few days, you know, it can be kind of depressing at times, but you know, basketball keep me going and just, you know, obviously praying about it and, you know, keep going and having my day by day routine, you know, getting up, working out in practice or whatever. And then obviously the games is what, you know, I'm excited for. So I think just having fun with that and then being able to produce and then obviously getting the chance to level up. Um, I think now that I look back, it's just like, I don't take it for granted. I think it, it made me better for today. So how uh, your day offs look like there? Did you play some video games or something like that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's my day off or when I have practice, whatever. Like I do the same thing every day. Like I might go get food or something, you know, you know, do something like that. But other than that, I'm probably chilling at home, playing video games or watching a movie or something like that. Um, but I do that literally every day. Like. Probably go home after this, get food, play a video game, or watch what, a movie. What do you play? Um, I play NBA 2K or Call of Duty. Um, I used to play FIFA, um, but I play games that like I play with my friends. So it depends on what game that everybody is playing because like it'd be like maybe ten of us that's on at the time, and we all be playing different games. But you know, I kind of play like okay, we're gonna play this or we're gonna play that. So sometimes I download games or delete games, you know. So I play a variety of games, but I would say the consistent games is probably NBA 2K and Call of Duty right at the moment, right now. Sometimes GTA, maybe, you know, here and there, but 
I kind of stick to those three games at the moment and sleep. I take a lot of, I take naps, you know. Um, obviously they know it's hard for me to go to sleep because I know talk to my family and friends at night, but after that is more so like, I'm up, take a nap after this, or after morning practice, I'll come and take a nap and then wake up and do what I need to do. Uh, what's something that the Americans don't understand about Europe before they come here? Um, something that Americans don't understand? Mm, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the biggest thing is like obviously language and things like that, but I think it's just a different, you know, culture. Um, it's not a big difference that as people would think, you know, you kind of you kind of think that like, you know, oh, you're going across the rail. It's, you know, certain things are um, different, but it's a lot of things that's similar here too. Um, I think it's more so just the culture, you know, everyday living, you know, it's not a big difference as people make it right now. I think social media and everything is so like big and everybody kind of is involved and kind of know what's going on. It's like, it's so small. It makes it seem so small. Like everybody know what's going on over here, over there, like, you know, and it's like, I think that's the biggest part of it. I don't know. I don't really think it's like a, huge difference um other than the, the culture a little bit and then maybe the um, like the language barrier you know it's, i think that's the, the huge thing is like the language barrier but like even when you go here like most of the young people here um and some some of the older generation you know they know how to speak english also so i think it's just more of the the um the language you know obviously we don't know how to speak y'all language but y'all know how to speak guys so it's like that's the that's the the good thing about when we come over here, Americans come to another country is like that y'all know how to speak our language because that help us out a lot. Uh, this year you immigrated from Poland to Lithuania, uh, which is known to be one of only few basketball countries. Uh, did you know anything about the country before you came here? Um, not really. Um, I had an old teammate that played here, Ty Webster. Um, with Joggers, I think, yeah, Joggers. You play with Ty Webster? Yeah, college, yeah. Um, we both went to Nebraska. Um, so I kind of, you know, talk, asked him and talked to him a little bit about it, but not really much, not much, you know. What did he say? Um, he didn't really say much. I just asked him, like, you know, was it a good league? Obviously, I didn't know too much. Like, obviously, I'm still young. I don't know, like, I ask about every league that I go to. Um, so just asked him, like, was it a good league? Like, you know. Like, what about the teams there, you know, things like that, you know, telling me throughout different teams. And if this team good, that team good. And he was just telling me, you know, certain things. And then he didn't really get into too much of his, like, personal things going on or how he did or anything. Um, so it was just more so just like the country, you know, being a small country. Um, it's not a super, like, a lot of things to do. But um, that was really all he said to me about it. But yeah your basketball style could be described as more of uh, an isolation basketball even though you dish out the assists as well mm -hmm. uh, also it's obvious that you don't run away from responsibility and clutch moments what kind of experience have formed you playing style and prepared the, you so for such important moments um i think this just had my like game been always since i was younger um, different, like different teams I have played on, my coaches, you know, obviously put that in my brain, like, you know, the point guard have to be able to be able to take them, to, you know, tough shots and want the ball at the end of the games and the shot clocks. Um, I think it just come from experience, you know, over the years, you know, having the ball, taking shots, failing at it, making them. I think that's why, I, like, I run to the moments, you know, I think that's why, I, you know, I want the ball in my hand at the moment. Um, sometimes you're gonna fail. You know, everybody might blame you. Like, no, you should have did this or you should have did that. You know, um, but that's just what makes you a better player. You know, taking on that adversity and obstacles. You know, when you fail and things like that, and um, you know, taking the, the negative as you would if you take it with the positive. So I think that's just the most important thing. Is like, no, never getting too high, never getting too low can stand level-headed and just, you know, stand humble about it and learn it from every situation, you know. You know, as I grow as a player, you know, obviously I want to keep getting better and keep growing. I think I have a lot of improvement with 
offense, defense, learning the game. Um, obviously, the European style of play. Um, I think I'm still learning it. You know, I really, I feel like I've really only been overseas. Maybe like I would say to, for me is like two and a half years. I really count like you know I I mean Greece my first year second year I was only there for a month played like five games um, so I really don't even count that I really count just my first year then Iceland and then now this year so like my two and a half three three years I so I'm still learning you know learning the game and trying to figure out everything you know as I go um, and obviously just like this situation with the new team trying to make sure I fit in and learn what the coach and team want me to do so. You know, as you go, you kind of learn and learn from different coaches, learn from different playing styles, and you know, you learn yourself. You know, as you go. Pause, pause, like, subscribe, and then, for more, just comment.